Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Back with a Choose Only One series. I'm going to turn this into a series. The engagement level was really high. It was fun for me to read all the comments. And we featured mid-size, right around three and a half inch barrel length, nine millimeter handguns. And the one that got the most votes was the CZ P10S. And that was no surprise to me because people on this channel, they love CZs and they sure let me know. Hellcat Pro got a lot of votes. Glock 43X got a lot. Canic TP9 Elite Subcompact got a lot. Not so much with the FN, although they got their share. Today we're going to feature, once again, 9mm, but the very small subcompact double stack 9mm handguns that so many people love, so many people carry. I've got five of them to show today, so let's get to it. Taurus GX4. A lot of G3C fans found themselves conflicted over which one they would want. Is it worth replacing with the GX4? Well, it is smaller. It is lighter weight. They changed the trigger. They changed the disassemble. And they created a very small and lightweight handgun. Ships with two 11 round mags. Nice grip texturing. They also offer an additional back strap. A 3 inch barrel with forward serrations. Pinned in front dot. Serrated black drift adjustable rear sights, but that trigger, which is flat, it doesn't have restrike capability, but it measures right at five and a half pounds, just like the rest of them. Very small and lightweight handgun, and it's actually the least expensive on the table here. It's 392 MSRP. I know a lot of people were picking it up for less than that. Ruger Max 9. A lot of people got excited when this hit the market. Many Ruger fans out there were just waiting for Ruger to come out with a double stack, very small and lightweight handgun, and they did with the Max 9. Ships with an 11 round mag that I currently have in there now, and a 10 round mag. Has forward serrations, fiber optic, tritium dot. All of them are optic ready. Currently, I have a sight mark mini shot on there. It has a trigger. With the trigger bar safety in there, quite a rounded trigger. Measures at five and a half pounds. Okay, they're all measuring at five and a half pounds. 3.2 inch barrel, nice grip texturing, nice shooting handgun. And I think the Max 9 definitely is a, is a winner, especially for those who love Ruger handguns. Springfield Armory Hellcat. This one's in flat dark earth. It's also an OSP optical sight pistol. Currently have a shield SMSC red dot on there. Forward serrations, tritium front dot, U-notch rear sight, nice grip texturing. Magazine capacity is 11 rounds currently, also has a 13 and 15 round mag is available afterwards. Ships with a 13. Has a rail right there, 3 inch barrel, very small, lightweight handgun. Flat face trigger that measures right at 5.5 pounds. The very nice reset. Love this handgun. I think it's excellent, and you can go a little cheaper without getting the OSP model. Sig P365. A lot of people love this gun. They call it their carry gun. They love the way it shoots, the way it carries. Very thin, lightweight handgun that is extremely popular. Currently has a 12-round mag. Sig expanded the mag capacity that is available with the P365. Forward serrations. X-Ray 3 night sights. And the trigger is an X trigger from SIG, installed afterward. It's a flat trigger that breaks at five and a half pounds with a reset. Fairly short. A lot of people love it. They carry it. They trust their life with the SIG P365. Mossberg MC2 Subcompact is right here. Nobody saw this coming. Mossberg was a little bit late, but a lot of people took notice. It currently has an 11 round mag flush fitting. They also offer a 14 round mag. A little longer barrel length at 3.4 inches. Optic ready. Three dot sights. Drift adjustable rear sight. Pinned in. Front dot. Forward serrations. Little different type of disassemble. I showed that on my table review. Five and a half pound flat trigger. It's right here. Mossberg MC2 subcompact. Nice grip texturing as well. People like the, the original, and when they came out with the double stack, they got very excited for this handgun. 
All right, so let me know which one of those you would choose, and I will report who I feel won by getting the most comments with the next Choose Only One video. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.